If you've never played marbles, the way it works is you as a viewer get to play a video game and go for world records. For each world record you guys beat, I will give you 50 gifted subs. Let's pick a map that we like, like the Twisted Toothpick. We play this one a bunch. Oh, that's a free world record. You type exclamation mark play in the chat starting now. We have a thousand players. Now we start. And from this point on, it's pure random. It's purely random. Anyone can win. But we're trying to beat world records together. Our best record is a 104.81. Yo, Turbo. Thank you for the raid. I hope you're going to stream. We're playing marbles to celebrate. Our personal record is the 10481. You guys see? The world record on this patch of the game is a 117. They reset the leaderboards every few months, so we have to claim back our records every patch. The physics of this game are deterministic, but there are things like the spinners that uh, give you variants. So there's parts of the level that always move, and depending on when you start the game, it will change something about, about how it's played. There's a shortcut here, and one of the marbles actually got it. Nixolai as well got it. No shot. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, a little too good to be true if Nixolai gets the record. Um, we are on pace to beat it, though, actually. Our best marble is Tekar here, I think. Barely avoiding the crash. Now you gotta avoid the pillars. He has 12 seconds to get to the finish basket. Ooh... Yeah, yeah, he's gonna beat it. I think. Three, two, yeah, he 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 beat it. And so this was a test round, and that doesn't count. So I don't have to gift you guys 50 subs already because that was just to show how it works. So uh, that was scripted. It's not a real real attempt. I thought about once how it could be cool to try to clean sweep the entire marbles game with world records, but I would just be sitting here streaming, looking at balls running down a track. But anywho, first round, first record, 117-11. That's how easy it's done. So, let's do a new track. While you guys type exclamation mark play, I have some oiling to do. Enjoy, thank you guys so much for the support over the years. Made costume, oh god. I promised I'd do that. Okay. When you guys beat the third world record of today, I will I will go get it. What I'm thinking can happen, right? Is if we time it right, you can bounce on this thing and just fly across to like the, the snake part. One of you guys hit the timing. It does not have to be all of you, but just one. I will clasp my hands together and pray for you, chat. Among you, there is a chosen marble that will beat this record. I don't know who. But there is one. Which one is it? Bounce! One of you, just one of you. Off the side. Victor! Victor, is it you? Victor! No! He missed. These marbles are fast though. Even without the shortcut, these guys are crazy fast right now. Ballspy, Ballspy, and Mewtwo. They're getting passed by Pinda. Okay, they're on, they're literally on the workplace. <gasps> no shot. No, he got bounced out and he missed the cannon. That could have been a crazy record. Wait, Dr. DNF, did you see that? He landed it down there and shortcut it. <gasps> oh, yes, we got it, Dr. DNF. We're on record two of the day. Watch it. Oh my god, you guys did it. But we're on the wrong map. Okay, we're gonna play the round anyways. <laughs> if you guys beat this, it counts. Enemy at the gates. Seasick Heart, who's gotten Marble's world record in the past. That's why he's VIP. I hear that Prime is free today also. Congrats on one Wait, Twitch supporter. Prime is free today? That is crazy. Oh my god. This guy's Sigma is <gasps> Palmito, almost the perfect shortcut. Congrats on the one mil big dog misplaying with you, man. Go on, King, and keep doing big things worth Wyatt. Thank you so, so much, Draggy. Really appreciate it. Also, misplaying with you. Maybe we can play together during Khaki. Bring the squad back together. Colorado's in the lead, but... The, the record we set had a slow start and a really good ending. So just watch out. It's gonna... 
jump here. Woo! There goes our record, and straight down. And it's now ahead of us. We have some catching up to do. Colorado trying. Colorado with more speed. Colorado! Did he get there? <gasps> I think he didn't, and you know why? I think he bounced up on the side here. I think he might not have gotten it. By four hundredths of a second. <laughs> Congratulations! You got a world record. Another one. Oh, Woo! because I picked the wrong map. I, I, okay. This record, you're gonna need to go crazy fast. But this is a map we've hunted so many times. And there's one crazy skip. If we get a thousand players here in the start, on the edges, right? If you stack 1,000 marbles, they will struggle to get out of the start quickly. So one of the marbles can run on top of the glass here. Which is a very quick way to get all out of the gate. Okay. This is tough. I'm just warning you, this is very tough. It is the type of record that can take hundreds of attempts. If we one-shot this, it's crazy. We need someone in the middle pipe. Aqua Spindle will be in the lead. Low bubble got it. Solar Earth as well. Uh, the reason is, is that they go straight through here. So that's a good start. Dominic getting pushed through as well. Quite a good field. Up the elevator. And now in the curtains. Either you just plow through or go to the side. Some people on the side, pretty fast. Decent pace. Oh, a bit stuck on the side here, though. This is not, not looking good, because you have to go through the pillars. Okay, only one stuck. APPL, with a good chance at it. Gotta go through the middle. Oh, we have one. D God Q, I think, is the only person. Walk Doge as well. And they are quite far ahead of the potential pace, but they need a perfect end. Clapped by this wall, which does not happen too often. It's highly rare. Walk Doge! <gasps> no shot! First try! Oh my god! That is a crazy record. <laughs> We've grinded this map for, like, weeks sometimes. For weeks. And the dude just one-shot it. Like, look at how slow the others are. That bounce does not happen often. This is one of the strongest marbles world records you can go for. 124 here is nuts. Did I say after four world records we do the maid costume? I think I have dementia. I'm so forgetful. How about this? I'll make you guys a bet, chat. If we don't beat world record, I'll gift you guys 15 subs per attempt we don't get it in it. Because I believe it's more likely we get it than not. Uh, it seems I have to go uh, change outfit real quick. Be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> We are here. Don't I look beautiful? Don't I look just absolutely beautiful right now? I feel beautiful. As a closet weeb, it's hard to this guy come out about my true feelings about anime, but I feel like I can great. finally just be myself. Ooh, woo. <laughs> One million subs and Virtual finally lost his mind. Oh, it was not the subs that did it. It was not the sub count. <sighs> Too much on the internet, I think. Okay, this is just press forward. So if you guys just press forward, we beat Miskiff. Got it? Warning, warning, pulling your virtual. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ad flip with a good start. Nila field Best with a good start. Who is even on the track? Have There's like five marbles off. It's scrapey again. I swear that boy has a bad influence on I swear, you. this is actually this Scrappy's is outfit. Dude. 
I don't own this outfit. It was given to us by Scrappy. After his maid outfit stream. And we still have it for whenever a maid outfit is necessary. Cryptic's in the lead. Ellie, thank you for gifting 20 subs. Is this what happens when you go femboy? The, the, the oil just starts appearing in tat? Maybe I need to do what <laughs> Finster started doing. Also, Ben with the world record. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you will not convince me to do this again. You will not convince me to do this again. But just to show you I appreciate, I will do a spin for you. I almost, I almost remember the Chica dance. It went like... Da da da! Do 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 da do do! <laughs> Mudgy taught me this a while ago. I, I, I'm, I'm giving away so much free value here. Do you really want to see me in a maid outfit? Or did you just think it would be funny? Is it still funny? Or can we go back to normal ones? <laughs> you enjoy the humiliation? See, you think I'm humiliated. But I'm not. I'm in my element. I just get to be my true self. Finster messaged me the other day. This guy and was like, yo, virtually, you're going dude. to TwitchCon? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yo, I'll see you there. I'll bring my makeup. I showed him a picture of Muddy doing my makeup. And he said, last TwitchCon, I bet I could do a better job than that. And I said, sure. Okay, okay, okay. I tried something. I think this might be better. <laughs> it's not though. It's so difficult. I don't, see, I don't have the balance. I do not have the balance. I can just like... <laughs> I'm such a gamer, I'm sorry. I'm such a gamer, I'm sorry. <laughs> Imagine someone coming from YouTube and they're like, Yo, Virtual, you're the storyteller guy. I really enjoy your... Documentaries. Uh, great content. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> getting to 1 million guys is something I never even imagined. Getting to 100k is something I never even imagined. I remember first stream I had 1000 viewers. I remember first stream, first time I had 1000 subscribers. First time I had 100 viewers as well. Started streaming back in 2017, right? And the entire way, I've just tried to do what I really enjoy myself. Like, play Trek Mania, go for world records. Talk about this game that I'm a total nerd at, right? Like, I'll, I'll meet new people and they're like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, yeah, I play racing games. And I also actually tell stories about racing games that millions of people enjoy. Like, what? What is that? What is that? Why is that a career profession? I'm not a carpenter. I don't make anything of physical value. I'm not like a lawyer who helps solve cases. I'm not a doctor who uh, heals people. I'm just entertainment, background noise. But it really means a lot to me that I get to do it at such a scale that I feel like even though it's a bit of a joke job, that I still have impact. Because I know like when I used to be very lonely, I would watch Twitch streams, I would watch YouTube videos and be like, oh, damn. You know, my life kind of sucks right now, but that was cool. But that was fun. I guess you can say, like, I have no real expectations for this to last forever. I mean, this could literally die tomorrow. It could crash and burn in five years. Game could become irrelevant. I could become irrelevant. Maybe I do the same thing too much, you know? Um, but, like, while we're in it, right? While this is happening. While there's 3,000 people watching me dance in a maid costume. Or 7,000 people watching when I make a Trekmania tournament. Like, I'm just really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. It's one of the most fun periods of my life these past, like, two, three years. Getting to do this, getting to, you know, just because I'm literally just doing my hobbies. I turn my hobbies into a job and I'm literally just doing that every day. I think I'm just going to try to pursue more of the things 
that make me happy. And, and hopefully you guys are along for the journey too.